Hello, my name is Dale Maley. Today in this short video, I'm going to explain one method how to make some 135 degree wood molding. The reason for this project was that my son's uh, had a bedroom where he wanted to spruce up the bedroom by adding chair rail, uh, wainscoting panels, and a baseboard uh, to improve the looks of the bedroom. And as you can see in this photo, the wainscoting was uh, sheets of plywood, and I cut those. But in this case, it had a uh, 45 degree angles at the corner of the closet. And I needed two strips of vertical molding to cover where the two sawn edges of the wainscoting panels met and uh, be 135 degrees. So I went to the big box stores and found out they don't sell any 135 degree moldings. In fact, at one of the stores, they told me, they said, well, you get to make your own. So that's what I did. On this project, I quickly realized that I was going to need to make a mold or a fixture such that I could put two uh, sawn pieces of wood on it and then glue them together at the proper angle. So the green piece here is my mold or fixture, and I made that from a scrap piece of 2x4. So while I was at the lumber yard looking for the molding that they didn't make, I went ahead and I bought a piece of molding that was inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter, 9 degree molding. Uh, the wood was 5 16 of an inch thick. And I thought I could use that for my base piece, and I wanted to use this because there's no knots in this molding that you buy. If you make the molding from scratch, from hard uh, or wood, you're going to probably end up with some knots. And there's always issues with uh, the knots bleeding through any type of paint you put on. So it's just a lot simpler and cheaper to buy a piece of molding you can modify for your need. So I took this home, put it on the table saw, and I ripped it as shown here in the photo except I stopped about the last six inches because I didn't want the pieces to collapse in the saw and get jammed up. So I stopped with six inches left, took the piece, and then I saw that last six inches off using a radial arm saw. Then I took both pieces and I saw, set the saw blade at 22 and a half degrees and sawed them to give the proper angle. So if it's a 135 degree joint, you divide that by two each piece has to be 67 and a half degrees but you can't set the table saw at that you have to set it at 90 minus 67.5 which is 22 and a half degrees now the next step was to glue and clamp up the two pieces to make the molding that i needed however if i just uh, glued the two pieces up and set them on the fixture piece um, the glue would probably stick everything together and really create a problem. So what I've learned is I use some clear saran wrap and I wrap the uh, fixture or the molding piece completely with that saran wrap that keeps the glue from sticking to it. Then I glued my two pieces on. I used a combination of string and uh, plastic black clamps that you see here, whatever works for you, to clamp that up and then let it dry. Now in these photographs, you can see what my finished piece looked like after it had dried and I removed it from the fixture. And the top one there shows the top view uh, of the 135 degree angle. The middle one is just the board sitting upright. And uh, the right is a look inside where you can see some of the glue that was left inside, but it didn't really bother anything because I had the saran wrap. Next, I Next, I painted the piece ahead of time, took it to my son's house, sawed, sawed the two boards to the proper length, and then I uh, nailed them into place, used a nail set to uh, drive the nails in a little further, uh, filled uh, with some spackle, and then took a little white paint and covered up where the nail holes were at. The finished project really turned out nice. So in summary, this video, short video explains how you can make uh, 
pieces of 135 degree wood moldings. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps on your projects and please subscribe.